Season 3 of the Prime Video series The Boys, based on Garth Ennis and Derek Robertson's comic book series of the same name, is hurtling toward what will surely be an explosive conclusion now that Soldier Boy, Jensen Ackles, Vought's poster boy and America's greatest hero long before Homelander, Anthony Starr, has broken out of his cryogenic chamber where he was held and tortured by the Russians for decades. According to Vought, though, Soldier Boy died in 1984 as a result of a nuclear power plant meltdown. So, just how exactly is Soldier Boy alive, and how did he end up in Russia downing sulfuric acid cocktails? Collider Video of the Day In Episode 4, Glorious Five-Year Plan, the boys take a trip to Russia in hopes of finding the mysterious anti-soup weapon that took Soldier Boy down so that they can use it to kill Homelander. When they arrive at the facility, chaos ensues as the souped-up butcher, Carl Urban, and Huey, Jack Quaid, fight off Russian security before opening up a secure chamber that they assume must hold the weapon. Instead, they find none other than Soldier Boy himself. He emerges from the smoke sporting a bushy beard, but he hasn't aged a day. After he unleashes a blast of energy from his chest, severely injuring Kimiko, Karen Fukuhara, he escapes to Manhattan where he hears a Russian song playing on the radio. The song triggers painful memories of him being experimented on in Russia, causing a burst of energy to explode from his chest, killing 19 people. The boys receive a tip from the legend, Paul Reiser, Vought's former VP of Hero Management before Madeline Stilwell, Elizabeth Shue, that after the explosion Soldier Boy visited him to get the address of his previous girlfriend and fellow payback member, Crimson Countess, Lori Holden. The boys get to Crimson Countess first, with Butcher tackling her right while she is in the middle of a camp girl session with at Sir Comes A Lot 779, played by Seth Rogen, in the role he was born to play, on Soup Porn Platinum. Butcher and M.M., Laz Alonzo, restrain Crimson Countess and tell her soldier boy is coming for her. A trademark smirk stretches across Butcher's face when a panicked Crimson Countess asks how Soldier Boy escaped from Russia, revealing that she knew he was alive this whole time. Soldier Boy arrives, and we quickly learn that it was none other than Crimson Countess and the other members of Payback who betrayed Soldier Boy and turned him over to the Russians. Fueled by vengeance, Soldier Boy asks her how much the Russians paid her. To his shock, she tells him that they didn't pay her anything. Stunned and enraged, he says that during all his years being tortured and experimented on by the Russians, he still held on to the hope that Crimson Countess would come and save him because he still loved her. Crimson Countess, obviously recognizing that this reunion is definitely not going to end well for her, drills the final nail in the coffin. She tells him, I didn't love you. I hated you. We all did. The moment parallels Homelander and Queen Maeve's, Dominique McElligot, confrontation earlier in the episode where Homelander asks Maeve if any of their relationship was real, and she says softly in his ear, from the start, I hated you. But what's more, I fucking pitied you. After Crimson Countess's unapologetic confession, Soldier Boy explodes energy from his chest and burns her to a crisp, taking her entire trailer down with her. Season 3, Episode 6 of The Boys will air on Friday on Prime Video, 